Ever been stuck in traffic behind a concrete truck and notice the drums spinning? Then the next day you see one just cruising along, not spinning at all? What gives? Is something wrong with a second truck? Or is there more going on behind the scenes? That massive spinning drum isn't just for show, it's a key part of the concrete mixing process. When concrete is loaded at the batch plant, it's poured into the drum, which begins rotating immediately. This constant movement mixes the ingredients and keeps the concrete from setting before it reaches the job site. So why do some spin while driving? Simple, they're hauling fresh concrete to a job site. That drum has to keep moving to keep the mix consistent. If it stops spinning for too long, the concrete can begin to harden, and once that happens, the whole load is wasted. Worse, it could harden inside the drum, and that's a nightmare no driver wants to deal with. Now what about the trucks that aren't spinning? There are a couple of reasons. First, the truck might already be empty, they've poured out the load, and there's no need to keep the drum moving. Second, some trucks carry water or cleanup material after a job, they might be on their way back to the plant, or just helping out on site. Here's a fun fact, those drums don't spin randomly, they're connected to a hydraulic motor with controls inside the cab. Drivers can reverse the rotation to pour out the concrete or speed it up to remix if needed. Pretty slick. So next time you see a concrete truck, take a look. If that drum's spinning, there's fresh concrete on board, heading to its next pour. If it's not, well, the job's already done. Or, it never started. <laughs>